So I've completed the chicken coop and what I've done is actually lined the front windows with plastic. Uh, that's a grow light there. I plan to put some stuff and have it growing in there for the little chicks. I am also keeping track of the temperature. So in their house, it's uh, 27.5 degrees Celsius. 30 is optimum, 27 isn't bad. So, well, and I've got um, basically a little heater in there and I can actually turn that heater down. Here's the controller for it right here. A little reptile heater. It's on max right now, but I can turn it down if, once it heat, heats up. And ultimately, this has an outlet, this little temperature gauge that I could actually connect the heater directly to this thing. And then when it gets below 30, it turns on. If it goes up to 30, it turns on. They have it automatic. So this is a cool little device here. And it's charging on a DC battery right there. So I made a little house for them in there, for the chicks. They can go in there and come out here. I gotta put the feeders in there now. And I've made a special chicken food, uh, basically uh, brown rice. Uh, this is actually GMO free popcorn that I uh, chopped up in my uh, blender. There is a quince in here. There's also chisel seeds. And you'll see in here, there is uh, chia seeds. So, hi, this is basically, oh, and I actually put in some uh, eggshell so they'll get their calcium, even though I don't need it now as chickens, but the calcium's in there. So this is um, basically a homemade specialty mixture. I don't really, um, I, I think mainly uh, corn was the main ingredients, and then rice, and then a little bit of the other stuff in there. So hopefully they'll, they'll go crazy over this and enjoy eating it. So I've set up their water over under the light. Um, that's a grow light. Um, you ultraviolet mainly red based um, and I've got their feed over here and hopefully they'll wander around and they'll find this um, I may also sprinkle some of this stuff just throw it in there on the ground and they can pick through and uh, find find some food in there this is actually spilled over there and here is um, my food already prepared for them mixed up super food for the chicks about to go get so I'm off to get the chickens sporting my John Deere cap that was given to me um, for doing some modeling or well, my kids modeling for a local guy in my I need to get a haircut I'm looking like a real hick I'm a chicken farmer today and that's going to show you now, the chickens I'm going to get are rather expensive. I wish I could find cheaper ones, but I've only found one place that sells them around here, and you'll see. So this is the home center, Mizaki. I really like this home center, but it's so expensive, everything's so expensive. And here's the pet section, this is the only place I've found that sells chickens. Oh look, he laid an egg. Little egg. Two little eggs. Two little eggs. Come on. Now these are, uh, I guess, two girls. Now these chickens here, it's a good sign. These are 80 bucks a piece. 68 bucks. Look at the cute little chickens, they, little eggs they lay. Here are the chickens that I'm getting. Right here. And look how expensive they are. Now, I just went with the cheapest ones. I'm getting four of these and one of these. This is the black one. These down here look so expensive. These are the little black, these are the smaller ones. These get kind of big. These are the biggest ones and the cheapest ones. But provide, they provide more meat too. You gotta fill out a registration form for the chickens. Stressed out little container here. It's okay. Oh, poor little guy. So, here they are. Paper the bag. It won't be here long. But, uh, taking the little girls home. And getting them acclimated in their little home. The little girls are chirping up a little storm. They are not too happy. So, I've got a fan blowing on them down here. 
this guy's on his Harley. Really cool. Japanese guy on a good American bike. <laughs> Easy rider. <laughs> I have the chicks home and I'm putting them in this little box here. I take them out one by one, let them drink. She's gonna put this guy a little bit further back. I'm actually glad I have it the the um, the door down because ultimately I can keep the door kind of up when I do this, but I can't hold the phone and do this, so hang that up. So I'm already relaxing. I think I'm gonna put the other land actually right here. Focus down on this side here. And I threw, sprinkled some food out around on the ground, and they're picking through that. They haven't found their main. And they already have a little personality, it's kind of funny. So I'm done is I've locked this door, so the boys can only come in and see them this way and watch them from over here. Uh, this is kind of a good little solution too. I didn't think about that. Put the key up here. So. Also, my wife gets an idea of, oh, I'm gonna release the chickens. She can't. She doesn't know about the chickens. Oh, and one other thing, I, uh, if you go, when you start handling the chicks, have some gloves. Um, you know, the poop and other things on you, and, They're really cheap nowadays and ready. All right, I'm gonna make uh, some greens for the chicks. So you gotta love this blender, which is kind of like a Vitamix, but not the product. It's called the Bigger Mix Vitamix, Bigger. <laughs> and um, basically it's a two, 2,000 watt blender, very heavy duty. The blade's actually Japanese. And it's it's a uh, it's what I'm going to use to make the chicken feed. I'm going to chop this up. And it even has one of those Vitamix little basher downs there. There things. If you're war wondering what these leaves are, is docks, docks, and red clover. So I'm putting up the little chick chicks for the night. And um, I actually put in a futon heater. What's that? It heats up your futon. We're not using it now. So to warm up the space. Oh, that feels nice. This is a futon heater right here. And the temperature is 25 and basically I can just turn this on for 15 minutes right here and let it go I got an extra light there they're all huddled up where it's nice and warm all right. they're not using their house but they like that heat so just put that on 15 minutes let it go all right, they're tucked away for the night. I'm not going to disturb them again because every time I open the door, I let a lot of heat out. So I'm going to let them be tonight. Um, maybe let Tommy, when Tommy and Mikey comes back, they're going to want to see it. And I'll turn on the futon heater again and let them check them out. The other thing I did was I finished the, um, the cover for the fish for the uh, cleaner. This is the cover for the um, basically the filter that I built for the pond and natural aerator run by the solar up there the cables ugly still I have to deal with that cable management the thing about solar is how to get the power where to place it and I got an angle too so I could actually put solar panels on there which I may do and then run the pump independently to it maybe keep the battery somewhere there I don't know but it looks kind of cool just threw it together um, yeah so Fountain's House now has chick chicks, it has fish, it has a salad garden that's becoming a food forest. Um, it's got solar and renewable energy and every house should aim to be a Fountain House. And if you're a member of Fountain's, you can come and visit and stay with me here for free at no cost. Um, just go to Fountain's.com and join. And your contributions help to fund. And I hope that you will launch your own Found Up House, set up your own Patreon crowdfunding, and start doing your Found Up projects. And uh, I will encourage people to support you. And together, 
we can save this planet.